Hello everyone. From chapter gravitation, we have to start new article variation of acceleration due to gravity with height or with altitude. Now, acceleration due to gravity varies with three facts: altitude, latitude, and depth. And all the three articles we have to cover after this. Now, let me start with the variation of acceleration due to gravity g with altitude. Now, for that we consider one body which is placed on the surface of Earth. And the body having a mass m. Then acceleration due to gravity g on the surface of Earth, whose radius is r and mass is m. Uh, I'm talking about Earth, or you can talk about any planet. Also. It is given by formula g is equal to g m divided by r square. This is a formula of acceleration due to gravity. Let us give equation number one to this. Now acceleration due to gravity at height h. So when we are talking about body is placed at height h from the surface of Earth, so this is Earth, so this is the radius of the Earth, and body is at height h. Then acceleration due to gravity at that height is given by this formula. G is same, mass of the Earth is unchanged. Only here, this distance is r plus h, so r plus s square. So equation number two. Now here we have to process these two equation and we have to uh, obtain uh, means we have to compare this and we have to predict a conclusion whether which one is greater which one is smaller. Now let's see this is equation one and equation two. So we divide equation two and equation one. What we get? So this g h divided by g. This g m divided by r plus h divided by this. So we get this formula. After this division, so G H divided by G I transfer to that side, so we get this one. So after division, immediate step we get G H by G is equal to I can write it here. Then we get here R divided by R plus H square. So this G M G M get cancelled and this R plus is shifted up. So so R sorry R is uh, shifted up and R plus is down. So here we get G H formula after transferring G to that right hand side. Now by using this equation, we have to write conclusion. Now tell me if height increases, H increases, then what happened to the acceleration due to gravity at that height? You can write it by using this equation. So as height increases, obviously this G H decreases by this equation. So from equation, it is clear that the value of acceleration due to gravity g decreases with increase in height or increase in altitude. So this is the conclusion of this article. I hope everyone understood this. Now after that, we have to start variation of acceleration due to gravity with depth also. Now again, we start with the same 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 procedure. We consider one body which is placed on the surface of Earth. Then the acceleration due to gravity on surface is g m by r square. So that is written here. Now here, listen, m, you know that density is the mass upon volume. So mass is the density into volume. So by using that, mass is equal to, this is the volume of the earth multiplied by density rho. So here, volume of earth means earth is spherical in shape. So that's why we use this. 4 by 3 pi r for the volume of earth. Now, as I substitute this m in this formula, then what we get? So we get g is equal to 4 by 3 pi g rho r. By cancelling the common term, we rearrange the formula and we get this. So only we substitute this m in the above equation. So we get equation number one. So this is the acceleration due to gravity in term of density in term of density. Why we are written in term of density? Because as we go inside the earth, so that object is attracted by a earth of lesser radius. So when we are going inside the earth, the density is constant. So we are considering density of the earth is constant and then we are deriving this. So that's why we are written this acceleration due to gravity in term of density. So if body is placed at depth d, now I'm considering body is now at depth d below the surface of earth. Body will be attracted only by the mass of the earth which is enclosed by the sphere of radius r minus. Now you can see in a diagram. So when body is here, 
now it is attracted by the earth which is shown by this white or by shaded red lines so the earth having a lesser radi lesser radius r minus g which is r minus g and lesser mass which is i can consider m dash so i can write the same formula of g when body is at depth d g at depth d is equal to g as it is mass is change m dash divided by radius is r minus g square and then i can write this m dash like this m dash i can write 4 by 3 pi r minus d cube rho and then after substituting this m dash in this formula of g at depth d we get a similar type of formula which is similar to the equation 1 so i am directly writing here so g at depth d is given by 4 by 3 pi g rho r minus only here it is r and here it is r minus when we are taking object at depth d only the radius of earth changes it attracts the object and because density we are keeping constant considering constant so rho rho now equation 1 equation 2 take the division equation 2 divided by equation is g d divided by g then 4 by 3 4 by 3 cancel pi pi cancel g g cancel rho rho so this divided by this then r minus d divided by r we get so we get here this r minus d divided by so we get here let i write here g at depth d by g is equal to r minus d divided by r so that r minus d divided by r we can write one minus d by r. and this g we can shift to that side so we get formula of g at depth d and by this equation we can write a conclusion so what is the conclusion now you can say as d increases d means depth increases so by this equation mathematical interpretation of this formula here as depth increases this d d decreases because as depth increases this factor increases then one minus that increase factor means the lesser subtraction we get and we get lesser value of that so go to that therefore we can write the conclusion here the value of g decreases with increase in the depth of the surface of earth and this is the conclusion now here we learn two articles acceleration due to gravity with height and with depth as height increases g decreases depth increases g also decreases now here when we reach at the center of the earth here you remember at the center of earth how much is the depth depth equal to the radius as i substitute when depth equal to radius then Depth equal to radius means here d r by r we get one and one minus one g so g at the center is equal to g at the center of the earth acceleration due to gravity g so that we have to remember then the variation with the height and with the depth so you note one thing here so this is a graph this graph clearly represent variation with height and with depth now here this is center of the earth. now as this is the distance huh? so on the axis we are taking distance so as we are talking about distance from center to the surface is radius so up to this distance is equal to radius now how the acceleration due to gravity increases as we are moving above the center so it increases linearly then at surface on the surface of earth the acceleration due to gravity is maximum and then as we move above the surface it start decreasing decreasing but we get exponential decay so we don't know where it is zero so because gravitational force is a long range we already done the property of gravitational force now here yeah, this is inside the earth, linear and outside the earth we are getting exponential type graph so this is the variation of acceleration due to gravity with distance measure from the center of earth i hope everyone understood the graph